Hey guys, today let us explore uh, animator chart in ClickSense with a simple example. So let me drag this animator over here. I'm going to run this on my month year field. Okay. So month year. Let it be. Meanwhile, I will add one more chart and we'll come to this animator later. So I'll just add a bar chart. We are going to see how this chart changes based on our animator. Okay, so I'll just create a simple bar chart based on my category and uh, sales. Okay, I'll make it as horizontal, I'll enable the values, I'll make the color by dimension okay finally i will sort it by total sales okay and then i'll switch off the legend as well if you don't uh, yeah i'll enable persistent color and then i'll switch off the legend okay so we are all good so i have the simple chart uh, where uh, it shows sales by category now i'm going to iterate loop this month here and we are going to see how this category performed over the years over the months right so let's before i run this let's quickly look into few options in the animator so first thing is we selected the dimension and animator options you see the time between steps okay so so when when we say step it's the time between the transition from one data to another so in this case, in this case july to august august to september right so how much time we are going to give between these steps so you can give a trial and error and you can come up with your own values i'm going to go with 1500 millisecond which i felt is optimal it's not neither not uh, not too fast or uh, too slow okay so when we have uh, steps okay so steps is something i'll give it zero by default so it, it is going to go through every month here instead if i give some custom step uh, let's say a 5 or 10 then it's going to uh, calculate its own so if i give five over here and if i have a, a 10 month year data in my dimension then it's going to uh, go with two two months per step okay so it's going to skip one month so so that's how it calculates and then we have aggregate so these two are mutually exclusive if i enable aggregate we cannot give low um, the steps over here so if steps if aggregate is disabled then we have the option to give steps so both are mutually exclusive uh, we'll see what aggregate does with an example so what it basically does is it it aggregates the previous step value so if suppose i see a particular sales for a particular category in this month when it moves to the next month so from july to august so this sales value will be added along with the previous month sales so it's going to append uh, the uh, so express the measure value of the previous step value okay so loop it's going to loop so on, once i run this it's going to go over loop repeat again and again uh, for all these month years so dimension labels and dimension values we see here month year and the value right so i, I can disable the dimension var label i'll just go with the value alone okay yes and here we you see some self-explanatory details about what we discussed right the same thing is given over here let me go ahead and run this so let's start it starts with july and moves to august and you could see for every month here we can see how each category performed right so this goes on for every single step since we gave step zero so it will go over each month here individually and then it is going to continue uh, in indefinitely so since we have enabled the loop okay so let me stop it over here let's say baby cloths i'll filter baby cloths alone then let me run this let's closely watch the values it's 300 1k 50 48 so these are all individual values for the respective 
month year okay and this is going to loop uh, animate for this particular category alone now if you had noticed all these values are uh, individual values not aggregated values okay we, we saw the numbers increased and decreased but if i enable aggregate over here enable this this is going to sum up the previous value okay so for 300 summed up with previous 1.3k 1.38 1.4 2 2.2 so we could see the values continuously increasing right so that means it is appending the previous month year uh, sales for this category right so if you want such kind of output then you can go with aggregate let me deselect the category so all these category values we see is all aggregated values okay so this is going to increase as we move towards uh, future month years let me go to next sheet i have just few couple of visuals created let me just run this so this when i run the animator right this is going to reflect in my entire dashboard so all my visuals will change based on this animator uh, current selection right so you, you can have any number of uh, visuals and as a dashboard also you can have a common animator over here so hope we got some basic understanding of uh, animator and its options and how to use where to use please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching